Hey guys, Sturgeon Devil. Now I'm sorry for the bad lighting, but I'm sitting outside doing a vlog and I really don't have any lighting out here. I'm using my phone. But yeah. Now, I just got done eating my final meal, which was two turkey burgers. No bread or nothing. Um. You know, I figured I would come out and do a video outside. I mean, yeah, you might hear cars go by. You may see them because I'm outside, but everybody upstairs is asleep. You know, Gizmo's asleep, Peanut's asleep, and Mrs. is asleep. So, um, so I decided to come out and do a video for you guys. That one's going to be kind of long. It may take a while for it to upload overnight. So, basically, um, I'm not doing any reviews or anything like that. This is just me talking. Now, I've had a couple of questions. How did I get so big? And like a lot of people, it was depression, eating, and all that stuff. Mine started when I was about... Mine started in 96. It was the day my grandmother passed away. Because in 95, 96, like... All my, all my childhood, even to the middle of 96, I was a pretty small kid. And uh, we were living in Leon, West Virginia, which is like two hours away from here. Probably two hours, yeah, about two hours away. And uh, I'm sitting there and I was asleep and my cousin was staying the night. <laughs> That's my buddy going by. Um, now, uh, we got, I got woken up to my mom screaming, crying, and I didn't know what was going on at the time. Until she woke me and my cousin up saying that my grandmother had died. Now, my grandfather, my papa, he died when I was really young. I was like two or three, and I really didn't get to get close to him, but I got close to my grandmother. She, I loved her to death. I loved her dearly. She's crazy, but I loved her to death. And she married a guy, a uh, great guy. He was my grandpa. I loved him to death. Um, I knew him longer than I actually knew my papa, uh, just because where he passed away. Um, I didn't know what to think. So I was still really kind of absent-minded to death what it really was. And uh, I, was, I was mad because I didn't know that my grandmother would be coming back. I mean, I knew people passed away. I knew they went to you, when someone said you died or something, you didn't come back. And I was really sad for a long time. But the day my grandmother passed away, I was a kid. I didn't eat a lot. Not like a lot of kids. I didn't snack a lot or anything. And I, you know, I would take like a handful of chips, put them on a paper plate, and walk away. And that'd be it for me. I noticed I started eating out of the bag. It's kind of out of the norm for me, but it was out of a norm day. And uh, I noticed that the chips were making me less mad and made me feel better. I noticed I started feeling more and more and more better. And I realized that whole bag of chips was gone. I was still, I felt depressed because I ran out of chips. So I went and got a bag of Tito's. I started eating them. And I got really sick. I really did. Um, I guess it was my nerves, eating all that food at once, and everything. Because in all, in all honesty, I was a very active kid. I didn't have a lot of health issues. Um, I had what was called a uh, premature stomach ulcer, and it made it to where I couldn't eat a lot of foods. So I had to be picky. 
I'm so picky about what I eat today, believe it or not. Um, and I noticed that I was eating more. My mom's cooking more greasier foods. And by the end of that, I noticed that it was making me feel better. And I gained like 50 pounds in a year. Then I noticed eating was more and more and more. And it got to the point to where by 1998, I was about 12. Yeah, I was about 12, and I was 12. I weighed 199 pounds. Now, granted, I was tall. Yeah. I was tall. I was sad. At 12, I was like 5 foot 10. And 199 pounds might not sound a lot, but for my age, I was way overweight. Then at 13, and 14 came, I was, well, I was at 300 pounds by the time I was 14. I uh, just lost my sister. Uh, my mom carried her full term, basically, and she was stillborn. And I just found more and more comfort in food. And as uh, my life progressed, I stayed big. Now there was a time, I was at 260 pounds. I was actually really healthy at that way because I was wrestling uh, professionally on the indie circuit. I ate healthy. I exercised daily with a full-time job. Then, I threw my back out really bad and I ballooned to 325 then I stayed consistent at 325 well um, I got down to 299 or 298 when I was Right around, right around when I miss when I met Misses, I was actually pretty thin. I was actually thin, or than what I am now, and uh, I lost a lot of that weight again. Then my mom died, and that was the day that my life absolutely changed the day she died was the worst day I've ever had and uh, after that I started drinking and really not eating but I was drinking a lot and when I was eating it was like big calorie filled meals and I didn't want to work I didn't want to leave the house and I started coming back to some normality I started exercising again and eating better and you know I found a really good job at 7-eleven well I got married to Mrs. like the next year and then I found out we were pregnant with uh, Gizmo they sent me an overdrive I had Found a real good steady job. I was making good money at 7 Eleven. I went from 365 down to 275. Then I lost my job at 7 Eleven, and I guess me losing that job just brought everything to light. And it just triggered something. And 
I'm a new 475 a year. And I was a bad father. I was a terrible husband. I was a waste of time. Thought about killing myself a few times in that time period. And I'm selfish because I had a kid and I had a wife. Even though me and Mrs. had a really rocky time. I mean, I went from doing everything around the house to just went to sleep or eat. That was it. I didn't want to play with Gizmo. I didn't want to help Mrs. out with anything. I was not her to do everything. I got so bad that I, she was sleeping in bed, I was sleeping on a food time that we had upstairs. And I was a hoarder. I started hoarding bottles and paper bags and just mindless shit like that. And one day I got out of the house to go to a job interview. And... I got home. And Mrs. had cleaned up all my trash. And I snapped. I mean, I went off. And I never thought I'd get that way towards her. And I did. And she wanted a divorce. Something to kick me out. Because in the long run, you can only fight so much. I had to help myself, so I went... After a while, <clears throat> um, you know, it got to the point where, you know, I fell asleep and Gizmo got outside on me and Mrs. Kate, Mrs. kicked me out basically, but the only thing that stopped her is the only place I had to go was the mission and she didn't want to see me go there. And I couldn't live, I, I just, in my head, I couldn't live without kids, man. And I was going to walk out of the house, I was going to kill myself that night. I really was. I had written a letter to Mrs. Written a letter to Gizmo. The only thing I packed was my knife. And a bottle of seed of medicine. And I had enough money to go buy a beer. I was going to check all the medicine out, check the seed of medicine. And once I felt myself going, I was going to slip my wrist. But then, uh, Mrs. calmed down and we were talking and she went to bed. I stayed up and we went to the doctor, went to the doctor a couple days later, and I left with PTSD, schizophrenia, bipolarism, and they had me on six different types of medicine. Now, the then I noticed, and I went and got weighed, and so I was almost 500 pounds, and I cried, I was so mad at myself. I've become such a shitty father, shitty husband, a shitty person in general. And I was sitting there thinking, like, how disappointed would my son to be if he was a little older and understood, or how disappointed my mom would have been. And I got my life back together, you know, slowly, but I did. You know, in two, like, two months, I lost, like, 50 pounds. I was doing really good with my sleeping, I had job interview after job interview, clean myself up and for a while we didn't have a car. I didn't I didn't start driving until I was twenty eight legally. Start driving until I was twenty eight, twenty twenty seven, twenty eight. You know, it, 
then Amazon came knocking at my door for the job and I was able to have a really good Christmas. Um, I got Gizmo a crap ton of stuff. Bought everybody in the house a bunch of gifts. I felt really good. And they did let me go, but it was only a seasonal thing, which is understandable, you know. And then, you know, I didn't go through a depression. I really didn't. Uh, later that year, I got back on with Amazon. Uh, and then I went through a little personal thing. I had to resign. Then I got some odd end jobs here and there. Missy's really, really busted her ass to support of this for such a long time. And what girl, girl worked her ass off. And I just felt bad for not helping. And then I went to Amazon again. And then my aunt died. That was really rough. And I really hadn't let my emotions go on that yet. I really haven't, in all honesty. Now, I quit smoking after that. I quit dipping. I didn't vape. I didn't do nothing. God, started eating healthy, started losing weight. And I fell off the wagon a few times. And that's still I am, you know. I fall off the wagon again. But. You know, I'm trying to kick cigarettes again. You know, I do smoke every now and then. I do dip mainly, though. Um, I do eat some unhealthy stuff. I shouldn't eat or I eat too much of something. And I just got to get my life back on track. And I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm getting back there. It just takes a lot of work. And I got a huge support system now. People at work. I've had a job for almost a year now. And it is amazing. It does have its flaws like every job. But I love the people. And it just means so much. It really does. And... You know, I'm starting to do this YouTube thing again. I'm working good. I try to go to the gym as much as I can. I try to eat healthier now. You know, I eat more vegetables. I take the proper vitamins. I don't take stuff I shouldn't take. I take stuff that actually helps your body. And to this day, you know, I just found so much comfort in food. Me and Mrs. argue, I want to eat. Have a bad day at work, I want to eat. I get aggravated with kids, I want to eat. What I need to start doing is really going and busting my ass at the gym. I get off at 5, I can go to the gym for a couple hours and be home and still have plenty of time with the kids, Mrs., and do videos for you guys. And but through it all, you know, thinking back on my childhood, I had it pretty rough. I mean, I got beat pretty bad. I got stuck with a stepfather that did drugs all the time. Saw him cheating on my mom. Got beat for seeing him cheat. Got beat for seeing him do drugs. I mean, I breathed wrong. I got beat. And he about beat me to death one day. I was laying on the floor, about, about to die. And my mom came home, found me. He was gone. And, you know, it was just. You know, but I'm a fighter. You know, I'm all, I've always been a fighter. I I fight as much as I can to what I can. I don't let. I try not to let things get in my way. 
like the video did 600 pounds. I was determined to do that, and I did it. I was determined to get this job, and I've had it for almost a year. I was determined to be a great dad, and my son tells me he loves me every day. I was determined to be a great husband. She cherishes everything I do for her. I try to be a great friend. My friends say they love me to death. So, through it all, man, I've had it pretty rough, but damn, I've had it really good too at the same time. I've had people not give up on me, and that's the most important thing. The most important thing is I haven't given up on myself. So if you ever feel down, don't ever give up. Don't let the fight win. You win the fight. So, I mean, that's pretty much my video for this. I mean, yeah, I know I'll try to be goofy and joke around being third gen. And I'm Jay Williams in this one. And... I guess what made me want to do this video is just thinking back, really. And, you know, that's why I guess I, I relate to Boogie so much, because he's always fought. And he's still here. Now, one day I will lose that battle. But it won't be because of myself. It's because it's my time to lose it. But until then, I'm going to fight my ass off. 24-7, 365, 366 on leap year. <laughs> so, for now, this is third gen. Go ahead and end this video. Thank you for watching. Just remember, it will get rough, but you can fight. I love you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, favorite. Um, I got an Instagram now, and a Twitter, and all that. And I'll put, I'll try to get more links into my descriptions and everything as I go on. I'm still learning how to do this better, but anytime. Message me, email me at thirdgen at yahoo.com or thirdgen1986 at uh, gmail.com. Hit me up on Twitter, whatever you need to do. Love you guys. Thank you. And remember, the thirdgen devil. Don't ever forget that.